So let's start. What is a startup? What do you know about the word startup? <coughs> we are in the last session, but I need you to talk. Please. <laughs> ideas. Ideas? Yes. So if you have an idea, you have a startup, you are rich. It's beginning. Yeah. What else do you know about startups? It's new companies. Having new companies. Okay, so it's a new, it's an idea. It's going to be rich or do an impact. This is a simple thing, right? You may don't know startups, but do you know these people? You would like to be one of them? Is it okay? Okay, we have Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Mark. What these three guys did? I need you to talk, yeah. Steve Jobs, Apple, he was a uh, founder for Apple. Microsoft. He was the uh, founder, but he's not in CEO now. He's only shareholder. Shareholder is one that have take from the profit at the end of the year, but he's not managing anything. He retired actually, okay. And Mark is the CEO and founder for Facebook. Okay, so these three started the common that the st three started as a small companies, actually a very small companies. Another thing that you know about startups is money. You want to be rich, dollars, euros, different currencies, having a private jet. This is what people think about startups. So the idea is is here to solve something happening, like. For example, you know Uber, the mobile application, the one of the biggest, uh, actually it's one, as a company, it's biggest economy, more than some countries. Okay, Uber don't have cars and it work like a shared economy thing, a platform connecting a driver with you in a secure thing. Okay, so there was a taxi and there was a driver and there was a client. What I did, or what Uber did, they used this shared economy to link people. This is the added value. What was the problem? There was no security for in some countries with the taxis. There was problem in payments that I would like to pay in credit card and they don't know. They would like to have a global taxi. This was the problems and it came here to solve it. There's a lot of in this field. Also, any, any application for e-commerce, you buy and sell things online. Okay, it's, it's happened that I need, I have old thing in my room and I don't want it and I would like to sell it. So I started this thing that to communicate and know my network that I have this. And this is why people use social media now mainly in Africa to start their business. Not building a website, zero cost, open your Facebook, having a page and trying to put photos and trying to sell things. Okay, so this is how you think about the idea at the first beginning. Idea plus execution, this is then a good idea that can be business. Also, when you are thinking, think about why, not what. I need to make a mobile application. Okay, that, that do, question mark. I don't know. Find the cause, find the problem. I need to help people to, to reach the nearest um, hospital, for example. I need to do a, a database for blood donations. Like if you have a blood donation and you would like to connect to people. So we do application. The application is the method. It's not the startup itself. You can do another business, not toward the telecommunication or mobiles or you can do a hardware kit. I'm trying to be in the same scope of engineers and startups, in the ICT tech. Okay, so if you have another example, so, um, uh, it's my pleasure to share. So, thinking about why to get the idea. 
The second thing about the idea that you need to make a market research. What is a market research? What is a market research? <laughs> Raise your voice. Getting to know more about what you want to do by um, research is getting to know about something you don't know about. Yeah, okay. Raise your voice. Like a visibility study. Like a visibility study? No, it's, 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 a, it's a bit before. Okay. The, the step before the visibility study, it's the market research. I will come to you. Analyzing characteristics of the area. Okay. I, I will go back and come for the thing. Raise your voice. I think the market research is like finding out the needs of society or signing that problem. Here's it. To validate what is the need, like market research is to confirm the problem is actually existing and it's what's in the economy. Another definition is to confirm that the idea is really needed. It's the same, yeah, it's a need. Or if it will be a want. For example, Facebook, like 15 years ago, there was Facebook in your life? You were living good? Having families, going to schools, it was good, like? So this wasn't a need. If I told you that you need to have a profile online, this wasn't a need at this, month, at this time. They build a want. Okay, so it's not only about the need. It can be a want. But also, the point of validating that people like this. For example, uh, I got an idea that I will do a uh, book sharing application. I have a need that I'm reading books and I have a lot of books at home and I would like to share it mm, with people and take another books and try to read it. So this was the cause to s about reading. And uh, I said this is the biggest idea. Everyone will sign up. I will have ads. I will have people. I have money from this. The main problem that the percentage of literacy in the, your city is like 50%. And the other 50 don't have books. <laughs> this, because you, you saw yourself. The next step, I asked my friend, and my girlfriend, and my mother, and my sister, and they said it's a huge, magnificent project. Thank you. This is, are your very close people. Don't rely on them. <laughs> maybe, maybe they don't know anything about the idea. Maybe they are trying to support because let's support our children. <laughs> let's support our friends. Maybe, maybe there's nothing. And the idea is not valid actually. But they are saying, okay. So when you are doing validation or market research, go ask different people, different age generation, different gender. Maybe there's I um, think that maybe for genders, uh, female or male, more. Like shopping online. Your main target is women. Female. <laughs> no, yeah. Males don't shop online a lot, like females. <laughs> See statistics. So go search for your idea online. Is it valid? Is it okay? Is it happened before? Okay, if it's happened before, is it in another city, another country? Go and talk to these people. To, to know the best practices, to know what is the withdrawals, and try to complete it. I go to my competitor to talk to him. Man, you are still an idea. You are actually not alive. <laughs> there is a lot of phases when you are alive and you are in another country, and after you finish your whole country to be an user or a client, then think of the next step to go globally. Yeah, go, go and ask. Your added value. What I'm doing, what is my added value? What I'm doing extra than the other competitors do? What is the value proposition? Let's take it an example. So, this is the segmentation and the uh, targeting. Who is the target market? First, in which country are you? For example, Nigeria, okay. Are you moving all over Nigeria as the first step or you will take a small sample? You need to take a small sample. So choose a city. Okay, so in the city, is it 
can you serve all of the city or you will take a neighborhood to start let's let's not take a neighborhood a city okay who buys the food which age and is it male or female go back to the culture of the place that you are operating for example in my culture 90% of the food at home a woman go uh, is responsible to get it so the segmentation the easiest segmentation will say that Nigeria have 100 million people and Abuja have like how many a million or something population 5 million and we will go to search what is the number of females and males you'll find it like 3 millions okay and after you go to 3 millions get the demographics so people under 10 years or 7 years wouldn't buy and people b b b b above 50 years wouldn't buy or wouldn't be an application first primary users so you will find that you are targeting like half million people okay this is the first who I'm targeting I need to know okay why do they will use back to the why why would they will use your app they do the service without it what is the added value what is the positioning which is the P the positioning that you will sell your product I will be the fastest and you wouldn't go uh, to the market things will be delivered to your home maybe I'm giving an idea so this is my positioning so you will take an extra fees who can afford it from this half million you'll find like 300 or 200 person okay so you now know this 200 people that in two or three neighborhood so how I will announce that this application is here so will I do billboards in this neighborhood will I do flyers and go to homes and give it to them and then go to these people and have a survey if this application is here would you use it you will take extra 10% of their for the product after you validate it with a big number of yes complete maybe they say to you no I wouldn't use something like this so go back your idea is not valid okay so after that which is the marketing mix need the price what is the price for your product or you're using for application is it free or not the place is here it's online platform the promotion channels I will do ads on Facebook, I will do ads on Instagram. Okay? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I will take a billboard. No, I will have flyers. I will do t shirts and make people like move around. So people start asking, what is this? Green t shirts. And who are the people that I'm targeting? Another problem that people face, which is this is a great idea people like it women at houses like to have their food coming to them at delivery everything is fine but your business model or your idea for generating money is null what is this because you will take like two percent for this and your over cost and your employees okay let's say you'll take five ten percent and your revenues in the month is one thousand dollar so you will take hundred dollar is it enough to pay your employees pay your retailers pay everything maybe not when you do the feasibility study so this project wouldn't generate money you're not doing business what I'm doing maybe an NGO <laughs> it's not a startup anymore man I'm sorry to tell you this it's a fact a lot of startups follow this they started and they validate and they go to life and they like I'm my business model is to take from ads and I still waiting to people put ads and when a sponsor come or I want put ads on my my channel he only give me like two hundred dollars and I have like 20 people working so I'm losing money <laughs> You are doing the business in the wrong way. <laughs> so if it's not getting money, you are out of market. 
you think we always have the fear that the big companies or the big names sell easy. I think Coca-Cola is one of the biggest company ever. Okay, Cola, Coca-Cola for drinks. It's one of the biggest, highest stock market in the US. Why do they do ads? Billboards, banners, everywhere in Abuja. Why? They are very well known. They are putting ads because also big names need marketing to sell. So if you are doing juice as a, as a startup, having a, like natural juices, a kiosk, you also need to have a startup. You need to market. The big names do marketing. Do you believe that people will come to you without having going to them and knocking your door and having um, customer base? No, you need to know who are your customer and how you will grab them to come to you and not to another competitor. Finish the idea and it's validated and everything is good. Let's go to the team. Co-founders and teammates or employees, whatever you want like to call it. So, in this point, how to choose a co-founder? There's two choices for co-founder. Either the co-founder be having the money, he have a, a lot of money, maybe he's old in age, and he will be silent co-founder, so he will give you the money and you all be working with, and he will be having shares, and he will be on the board, just like an advisory. The another co-founder that you take, from my best practices, who you don't who you don't who, who you need it and you don't know how to pay his salary if you can pay his salary don't take it as a co-founder you understand this for example I, I, I need to elaborate this you are doing a kiosk for fresh juice okay you have the startup money you did the visibility study and I will share it with you now and it's like cost $1,000 and you have the $1,000. Okay? But you don't have time. You are um, having another job or something. So you need somebody to be responsible at the shop itself all of day. What do you think is the salary for this in the month? For example, $100, $200 in my country. Okay? $100, $150 in my country. So. Do you take it as a co-founder, a partner with you, that take in the net profit? Take it as a teammate. So I don't have, I only have 1,000. So you can learn from your neighbors, you can learn from your family, and take this. Why? Because you started with 1,000. And if it grows, okay, it will be like 100,000. So he will be taking from the big chair. Why? The only why to take a co-founder in this situation is that he has access to things that you never know. You are a technical geek, you need a business developer or a marketing with you. Because you will never know how to do this. So you need a loyal person to take care of this. Not to leave you and go for another company. But if it's a dummy work or a, a, a continuous work, that can be replaced, don't take it as a co-founder. This is my best practices. You have the kiosk running, or you have your application running, or you have your website running. Who is the partners and suppliers? Who is the partners and suppliers? Suppliers are the people who get you the raw materials for juice. And the partners, if you have like a maintenance people that come for the machines to check, keep, keep a very good relation with them. This is my advice. Always have more than one and supplier. Never rely on one. Whenever your friendship with him. I lost a friend of mine 
because he was one of my suppliers one day because he raised the money and he raised the fees and I, we clashed together and I lost my friend don't rely on friends and friendship in business or co-founders please I'm talking about our region we have a conflict between our emotional and friendship and business we can't separate between them I know I'm one of the region because he's my friend so let's go and do business together and then money talks and then the problem happen and then you lose a friend and you lose money let's lose money only don't lose friends you have your co-founders go build a prototype a small prototype validate your idea I validate it through a survey okay I ask them a survey would you like to attend um, the conference say yes I didn't take a fees from him so I don't have any guarantee that he will come that he will use the application that he will buy the juice he said yes okay so you need to have a very small, very small prototype to validate it, to get it to life and see how it will go. If you are a website for connecting people, let's do it on a page on Facebook in two days to see how people will interact with this idea. You need to go for a crowd. You ask, you will do a survey for 1,000 people that will take like a 15 days to do something like this, but going for 10,000 wouldn't go unless you have a prototype so people can visualize also what are you doing hardware software what's this platform why I use it how many I will pay okay don't make the validation and the prototype take years and months because I need to enhance the UX and UI, the user experience and the user interface for my mobile application. I think this is not the best uh, messenger I can do, I can do more. I think this is not the best gadget uh, that can be put in home for security. I need to make it more fancy. You, you keep on enhancing and at the end of the day, there's no product. So, my advice here is do, do whatever you would like that make the minimum functions and make it as a prototype to validate it with the people. Okay? It's time to write... Uh, I don't have a... Sorry. I don't know if I have a, uh, much, but yeah, I would like to share with people. Okay, what is the plan? I'm the only, are you the only TV online? No. Thousands. Need it. Okay, I will be the only TV online uh, in the Nigerian language or in the Arabic language. So I'm talking to the Arabic people. Middle East. Okay. Also, there is a lot of people doing this. What's the new thing? I'll be talking on the nerves. Okay, so I'm trying to now do targeting. Entrepreneurs that talk in French, entrepreneurs that talk in Arabic, okay. How? I'm the only one? No, you are not the only one. What am the new thing? For example, I will do subtitles. I will do a uh, live view, live videos. So I'm not only interviewing people to talk about their success. I will go and get my cameras inside uh, the building, inside the farms, if I some uh, agriculture startup, and try to give all of the best practices from him and from other employees in the company and from everyone there to know what is the need. This is the essence of value. It's not about me having an interview. Anyone can have a camera and have it. So this is the value of position. Who is the customer? 
which is the SP, SP, which is segmentation and targeting. I'll be targeting entrepreneurs that work on agriculture that talk in English. That's it in Africa. So from 1.7 billion people, I put it right in two or three minutes. Okay? It's like a funnel. This is my custom. What is the channel that I will use? For example, in this, I will use maybe YouTube or I use uh, my own website or I use Facebook. There are three channels. What, what, what do you think? Which one? I use my Facebook or I use YouTube or I use uh, or I use uh, my own website to do IT. Coca-Cola and these drinking Coca-Cola. So this is a part of the market for product placement. So if you can go to these people and uh, say to them, okay, you can put uh, your Coke here and it will take videos, this is the product placement for your own, and you can generate money from here. If you can't, so Facebook is not uh, accepted. You need to go only to YouTube to pay for all the ads. And if your country don't use YouTube, for example, so you are in the wrong project, either changing the country, changing the target market, or changing the market. This is a channel that you will go to the customer. How do you have a relation with them? How you will make them happy? How you will continue your relation between you and them? Doing more ads, having discounts, having promotions, Try to calculate the revenues. Okay, so if I have like 2,000 views on subscription on YouTube, I would have like $100. So, is $100 enough to maintain my business and grow? Maybe yes, maybe no. If you are working alone, so it's okay. I'm not a startup, I'm doing everything alone. I'm a one cent show, a one cent mad show. And I would keep on going. Did I get a bigger revenue? And I, my, my show or my TV go growing up? I take thousands of sponsors and take thousands of dollars and I will build my empire. If it's not, so also go back one step. Your idea is not valid. How do you calculate the cost? I know by going to competitors that do the same thing that you do. And if you are going to have a startup for juice, you want to just say, I'm the only shop for juice. You know if there's another sh shops that sell juice, fresh juice. So you need your price rate be similar or, or near to them. What's the added value? I added value on the packaging itself. Like I would put it in a cup that is branded and fancy cup or something. I would put three juices together and make my own juice. So this is how you do the cost. Partners. Have a lot of partners, lots of suppliers, have very good relations with them, so you can move on. Key sources and the key activities. How I would operate. So in the, the shop thing, I would operate by doing, I have a one man that do the juice. In the startup, other startup, which is the YouTube thing, I need photographers, I need the cameras, I need the video editors, I need the uh, one that I'm set up the management. I need one with a big PR, public information background, so you can call the people, set interviews and set dates, and they accept it. The resources, who will be my co-founder, who will be my team. There's a very talented chef for my restaurant, and I will be doing the first Italian restaurant in Nigeria. So you, the main asset is the chef. In this case, you can get raw materials, you can get a venue, you can write, uh, you can do a decoration in Italian, anyone can do it. But the taste is 
After finishing all of this and mixing and matching so everything is set, there's revenue, there's profit, and the cost of the thing is relevant to the reality. For example, you can have stolen revenue if you sell the progress for 500. And you can have the same thousand revenue if you sell thousand progress for one dollar. You know? So you need to, it's, it's a mixing and matching. How do the pricing? In effect, the revenues, okay, it may affect the customer, the customer may change. Like, I'm, I'm targeting the very VIPs, they have money, a lot of money, a plus social standard, because I'm selling things for hundreds of dollars. So, each and every change in this business model catalyst will affect all of them. After this, you go live. It's the incorporation. which turn into a legal entity, all this for the end. So you need to know the taxes of the place, you need to know the labor of the load for your plate that you're operating, you need to uh, know the team and legalize everything. And in legalization, I, we don't have a lot of time, I think, but I would say a small bit, there's parts of companies globally. There's like companies like the branches. The first branch is the easy. It's like a person company. It's a solo partnership company as yourself. Or a coordinated company that you and your friends or you and your family are doing, but you do it one more. And this is very easy, very low cost to do it, but it has a problem, a legal problem that the company and you are the same person. So if the company go bankruptcy for a loan, you are sent to shit. The other branch for the legalization, which is the, as the, as the company is a, a virtual person. It has its own nationality, has shareholders, which owners. You need to be two co-founders plus. Okay, it starts by company called LLC, Limited Liability Company, which is the most um, type of companies globally that have the biggest number of companies. Because the liabilities, if there's, if there's a problem, to be on the company, it's not on me. Okay? They will take the money of the company, not my own money. It goes to LTD, which is uh, bigger in shares, but you don't have the time and you don't have the effort. Like if you are 50 or a five person, 90% of you will be investing in stock market, in startups, and anything. Because you don't have the effort to go and every day from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and you work sleepless nights, why are you doing this? So this is the third thing, check over. Second thing, loans, taking loans from the, this first circle of your friends, of your uh, family, the first family, that they believe in your idea and believe in your capabilities as a person. There's one, but this is a big thing, I will talk about it now. The banks. Here I think in Nigeria, a lot of banks are investing. And big down of SMEs, especially in the ICT and uh, agriculture. Because ICT is laptop and internet and you're connected to the whole world and you can take money from all of the world in your clients in any place. And I mean, not just because you have a, a very good uh, brand and very good experience here. So, investors. Investors are many types. Investors come with the first thing as a seed funding, which is a small funding taking a small percentage for your company. Okay, this is the first step. But investors wouldn't put money without validation, without a real thing, without a real, um, without a real output. They need to see efforts. They need to see outputs so I can pay for this. I can invest. There is another type of investors out of the sea, which is the VCs, 
okay, and incubations and accelerators. These are programs all over the globe. Anyone can uh, apply for it to be in these startups and the startup program. Another thing is the crowdfunding, okay, which is like Kickstarter. You know Kickstarter? Yeah. You know it? If you don't know it, try Kickstarter on Google. It's an online platform. There is a lot of it that you pick your idea, put a video, put a description, and ask for money, and people start investing or donating to the startup to kick it off, to start. Here also, in the startup competitions. Also, young professionals in the ITP in the region now, we are doing a program for this, which is called Y Beach, Young Professional Beach. Okay? If you are a young professional, you will be having a swap to pitch and send your proposal, and there will be winners. The winners will go to uh, events and acceleration programs and having network in different places, maybe in Spain, maybe in different events, so you can have an exposure. But all of this wouldn't start if you didn't have a thing, if you didn't have a profile after you validate the thing. Solid, so you can go to investors, you can take the white pitch and travel to another place to have another investment to pitch among people, having new clients. What you would say if you don't have a solid thing? This will be announced in the next year. There's no linear path. You are like mingling between ideas, mingling between problems. So be very flexible at this. You have an inspiration, have a problem, passion for an idea, with the concept, go, provide, having money, <coughs> money, and go back, no funding. Find an investor, or talk to banks, or get another investment. But all of this would be built with a business model, business plan. The first thing that investor will say is, "How can I get you one thousand dollars after a year? What I will take from you? And after five years, what I will take from you? And after ten years, what I will take from you? If you don't have a very solid answer with three numbers and validating them." He wouldn't stay with you. You have a lot of things to do. Actually, we have five minutes and almost time. My last thing in this session, that I will be added, that being on the is not easy to think. Doing business is good. You may go rich, and you may have the luxury, not from more than work. That life is a lot more happy than God's backwards. It's not for what to me. We are here in life doing different things. Doing different. Doing life, doing diverse things. You may be an engineer, love, love music, play music, uh, learn courses, and love business, attending an entrepreneurship session that's not very effective for you, uh, networking with different people, going for events, uh, going for concerts. Mm -hmm. it, it's very diverse. You're not doing a linear thing. But what you don't know is that after five years from now, ten years, and every step, when you look backwards, this scattered box will be connected to a shape. For example, let me tell you something. I tell you the story actually. Uh, like 10 years or 10, 15 years ago, uh, I wanted to, my friend was to play guitar, and I would like another guitar to play with them and go for a course. And actually, at the first beginning, my family didn't like the idea. And you are, you will be an engineer, you will don't, don't uh, play guitar, you will not be a singer, you will be having a band. And I was struggling about this beautiful culture. At the end, I got the guitar and went for this course. 
I'm not going to be proud when we make the band and we fail, fail very bad. <laughs> and, 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 and we did a very small concert, actually only like, we were like, we were like seven, and then we were like ten, which was a lot of friends actually. <laughs> it was very bad. And after this, uh, we, we didn't do anything about the uh, music thing, and I was about to After that, like seven years later, I had to travel to Poland to get my first international program. I had only books. Actually, it was a course about photography. That's another half of a photographer and a geographer. So, I was the first time as a speaker there, and I was very afraid. Uh, first time to talk in English and to give a speech. But I, because I wasn't the person here now. <laughs> totally. And I was like, the, the, the night before the event, I was very shy, having dinner with other speakers. I wasn't talking as in, as in now. I was like, maybe shy. Okay, I'm thinking, I, I don't I do not to go and to try to introduce myself. And we were staying in a pub at night, and that was horrible. And after that, we got a, a one of the poor people that were hosting, Tell us uh, they back, come down for a rest, and they tell us a few nights uh, we would like to go for uh, singing and playing music. So we went on stage. I don't know if I know how to play guitar, and uh, someone who knew drums, and there was a vocalist in the group. And we stand up to the stage, and I started let's play. And we we said let's play Alta California. I started playing it. This was the breaking. The, the icebreaker for me to end. Actually, we played it very nice, and everyone was clapping and please continue singing. And when we got back to our table, I started talking, I started to be famous. Okay, you are in the next day in the concert. We are the one who played guitar yesterday, you know, it was good. So, you may do things that you, you don't know how to adapt it or change your mind. Actually, now, I don't believe it's my music to get introduced to people. <laughs> I go say hi, I come here, I can go to with anybody. <laughs> so, there's no process in your life. Your life is changing. So, either it's changing positively or negatively. So, don't be afraid about the dogs you're doing. Don't be afraid that this diversity wouldn't do in one thing. Uh, how, how are you not focusing on only one thing? Would it be no, do different things. Do as much as different things. We are you. It's time for us. It's time for us to, to, to go more, to explore yourself. Maybe you have uh, an edge that you still did not, don't know it. So please explore yourself. Please do, do dogs and different things. And believe me, believe me, it will pay off when you look backward to those dots.